Standing on a headland above the harbour of Whitby are the medieval ruins of the Abbey. These ruins have a long history stretching back a thousand years, and during that time it has seen its fair share of horror. The ruined abbey that we see today dates from the early 13th century, though it can trace its origins back to the Anglo-Saxon period in 657 AD, when the first monastery was founded by the King of Northumbria, Oswy. He appointed Lady Hilda, abbess of Hartlepool Abbey and grandniece of Edwin, the first Christian King of Northumbria as its founding abbess. It is said that the ghost of St Hilda is rumoured to roam the abbey, where she peeks from one of the highest windows. Many have reported this sighting, along with seeing a white lady walking through walls and at times floating above them. This same white lady has also been seen running towards the cliff top where she is seen to leap off. One witness walking her dog late on an autumnal evening heard a woman's crying coming from the abbey which had closed for the day some hours ago. She stopped and looked in the direction of the abbey, her view of the lower parts of the ruins being obscured by the high wall which marks its boundary. crying was getting louder and the witness's dog suddenly became afraid and refused to move. Then a white shadow passed through the wall and levitated towards the cliff top where it came to a sudden stop. This white shadow then took on the shape of a woman wearing a red dress and grey cloak. The witness unknowing of what to do, remained still and in disbelief at what they were seeing. After a couple of minutes, the spirit woman suddenly stopped crying and turned back into a white shadow, then disappeared off the cliff top. Along with multiple sightings by visitors, this ghost also gained fame with her mention in Bram Stoker's Dracula but she is not alone in her ghostly haunting. Another, more sinister sighting is of a nun who broke her vows of chastity, Constance de Beverley. Constance was a nun at the Abbey and she fell in love with a handsome knight. She fell in love so deeply that she cast aside her vows of chastity. This was to be a grave mistake. When her secret was exposed, she was bricked up alive inside the walls of the abbey by means of punishment. Over the years, many visitors have reported hearing whimpering and screaming, a woman's voice begging to be let out of the walls where she died. Some witnesses have reported of seeing a skeletal hand reaching out of the wall as if trying to grab them. Other sightings include seeing monks covered in blood and being chased around the site by ghostly vikings and of smelling the strong scent of smoke. This may be the residual energy of when the old abbey was laid waste by Danes in successive raids between 867 and 870 AD, the results of which was that the abbey remained desolate for more than 200 years. It is not just ghosts that are seen at the abbey, as a small goblin-like creature has been seen climbing the walls and sitting atop the ruins where it peers down into Whitby. It is believed to inhabit the caves around Whitby, known to be bad-tempered, 
Local law says that it often moved into people's houses and wreaked havoc by turning milk sour in the night, frightening livestock and generally being an uncontrollable nuisance. Some old legends speak of this creature dwelling in a clifftop cave around Whitby Cliffs. Mothers were said to have taken their children to the caves as an offering to ward off the creature's malice. But others say that the creature was able to heal the sick in exchange for gold, and that was why mothers took their children. UFOs are also often seen in the skies above the Abbey, most notable being the mass sighting in August 1997. At around 4pm on the 7th, a circular object that was spinning and glinting was seen moving from east to west very fast. Some reported that this craft shot beams of light onto the Abbey before it rapidly ascended to the sky where it disappeared. Skeptics dismiss any evidence that Whitby Abbey is haunted, claiming that each sighting may be easily explained as natural phenomenon. As for the legend of the goblin-like creature, they claim that the story was made up by smugglers who used the caves for storage and needed a story that would ensure their privacy. But this makes no sense as people willingly took their children to the cave. The truth of Whitby Abbey being haunted will most likely be argued over for many years to come, but ultimately it comes down to one question. Do you believe?